just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update on the Renegade. Uh, as you can see, the motor is in it. Ta da! Uh, I drove it up here, so it is running. I was having a few issues with it. Um, when I put the ECM back in and the throttle body and everything together, I fired it up and it was idling right around 1700, 1750 RPM, and I could not figure out why. Uh, I thought it might have been a leak around the throttle body. That wasn't it. It was throwing code. Uh, something about the IACV, it was in limp mode, so it was just a pain in the arse. But what ended up being was uh, a pin in the ECM was bent. So I don't know if I did that, I doubt it, or if the guy that did the reflash bent it by mistake and didn't say nothing or didn't notice himself, but whatever, not a big deal. It wasn't broken, I was able to straighten it, no problem and uh, that fixed the idle issue. So I tuned it on the first cylinder now. I'll have to switch to the second cylinder and tune it uh, just to get my offset back correct and then we will uh, maybe put it back on the front cylinder again and just touch it up a little bit but uh, that's pretty well it for now. So it's got the solid motor mounts in it. It's got the Mag Plus cams, we're still running the NPP, dual DOMs, full system, and uh, yeah, it's running pretty good. I think we're pretty well at the limit of the clutches though. It's about all she'll suffer uh, in high range, low range is alright of course, but uh, yeah, so that'll be the next thing we we'll have to look at is putting a new primary on it, but hopefully i get the tuning done on it, be able to tidy up some of my wiring at the uh, monster power tuner off and whatnot so anyway guys that's where we're at right now uh, I do have a video of the engine going back together which uh, I have to work on editing it's quite long so I want to edit it down a little bit so that might take a little while when I get some free time uh, might not even be till later on this summer so it's coming it's just not gonna be anytime soon so just a few odds and ends left to tie up on it, and we'll be back to running this thing. So, thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out the following video on running this thing. Thanks, guys.